Hi you guys, it's Peggy again over here at, well I don't even know, it's my workshop anyway. This is where I'm at. And um, I've really been, you've seen these dolls online, I know you have. They're little Russian dolls, they're called traditional Russian harvest dolls. And um, they have these little tiny babies in them. Uh, there's a couple of dolls that I've seen that are about, this one's, seven inches tall this one's about five inches tall and um they both have little babies in their arms and so i've really been tr struggling with trying to figure out how to do these little babies because i want to make a 14 inch tall doll like this but um i want her to have a whole bunch of babies like all around her stomach i saw a doll like that and i really really liked it so i want to see if i can make one so what i did was i took some linen and stuffed it with wool and then I used some thread and ran around and around and around and tied it for the neck and then I used this little piece of it's called uh, dough suede it's really soft really soft I don't know if you can see this very well it looks kind of dark what I'm seeing but I'll look at it um, and then I want it to be long in the back Get my scissors but I'm going to trim it off a little bit in the front because I don't want it to have a lot of bulky fabric in there <clears throat> and I thought it would just be nice to have you guys with me today I'm, I'm getting better I've been sick for weeks and weeks and weeks so I am getting better and so I keep thinking about when my kids were little I just used a dish towel a triangle dish towel and I would lay it on there and fold it over the top from the bottom to the top and then one side over one side over but that's too bulky for these little dolls because this doll is only like three inches tall and I may cut her so she's even smaller than that and so let me see I really have a hard time with getting the right amount of fabric here I usually have to cut it and cut it and cut it to be able to get it right. Do you guys ever have to do that? Do you ever have to like adjust and readjust and readjust when you're trying to create something new? I don't like that part, but it takes a long time. But that's what you gotta do sometimes. So I'm not sure. I like this little hood very well. I might I might have to change it some. It's not coming down on the front of her face quite as far as I wanted. So here we go. We'll do a little triangle. See if that'll work. Fold it up like that. Ooh, it's kind of slickery. Oh, I can see right now this is going to be way too much fabric. Way too much. Here we go. That's a little better. I want it to come up a little higher in the back. Maybe I better get some pins here. Help hold it. I only got so many fingers. I love to use straight pins as more fingers to help me hold things in place while I'm trying to figure out new patterns. Makes my life so much easier. That's a good tip for you guys if you haven't never done that before. Do it. Use your straight pins. <coughs> Let's see. We fold the bottom up first. If, if you guys know how to do this, you could like send me a message. Explain to me how to do it. That'd be great. I just am trying to make a little bunting there. I kind of like that. Fold that over a little bit. Oh, this can go around her a couple, three or four times, it looks like. Maybe that'll be okay. 
keep her nice and warm. Poor baby. There. Cool. That doesn't look too bad. A little tighter. And then I'll take a couple of stitches back here to hold it down. I don't have any thread, brown thread on a needle yet. There we go. Take out my pins. What do you think? I think it'll work. Can you still see it? Is it too dark? There we go. Awesome. Maybe I'll take a little stitch here and a stitch here and a stitch here too. Just to hold her hood on. There. There's a little baby in a bunting. Let's measure this thing. See how big it is. Two and a half inches. I thought it was a little bigger than that, but it's pretty tiny. So, there you go. Want to make some babies? <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> There's just something about tiny babies that just makes your heart sing. Okay, thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.